more skeptical of government managed health insurance, but there's one group of people who tend to be gung ho for anything Obama, and that's celebrities. Here's an actress whom I like. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Banks, and if you need health insurance, you can find affordable coverage at the new health insurance marketplace at healthcare.gov. Now, she did record that along with a bunch of other celebrities, uh, presumably before she knew that healthcare.gov might not work. Maybe she regrets doing that pitch now. I don't know, because her agent didn't return our phone calls. But whether she regrets it or not, the point is that this administration's been very successful in getting celebrities to endorse its policies. Reason Magazine's Peter Suderman studies this kind of stuff. Uh, celebs are especially useful because Obamacare really needs young people to sign up for it to work. That's right. Turning out young people is crucial to make this law work. Uh, that's what the Obama administration says. Their numbers show that in order for this law to really work and be sustainable, they need about 2.7 million people, young people, uh, young and relatively healthy folks, to sign up for exchanges in the first year. Uh, and the reason they need that is because these young people, by paying more and by not using very much health care, We'll kind of balance out the premiums and create a broad risk pool uh, that, that will take cover the, the geezers like me who are much more likely to get sick and whose costs would be much higher. So I get a break and the young people pay more. Right. And this is campaign style uh, marketing. And in fact, the Obama administration has really thought about this in the exact same way that they've thought about the presidential political campaigns in which Obama was actually quite successful at turning out young people to vote. But this time they're not trying also, to get them to vote. While you're on that, let's point out that he hired these private consultants who were brilliant at it using the Internet. But when it came to setting up the Obamacare website, he used these government contractors who stank. Well, I, I mean, it's very clear that the Obama administration is much better versed and, uh, you know, has a lot more experience doing the marketing side of politics rather than the administrative and technical side, and that has really foiled them here. Um, you know, the, like I said, the issue with the campaign here is that they, uh, in the past, they've tried to get people to vote. Now they're trying to get them to sign up for coverage. It's a really big difference. It's really important because going to vote, that doesn't cost you anything except whatever time it takes you to get there. These insurance policies for young people in particular are going to be fairly expensive. Uh, we, we've seen reports that say that in all 50 states, policies for young people are going to be more expensive. On average, they're going to be about 260% more expensive for young men, 190% for, for women. I mean, the, the prices that we're seeing uh, in many cases are going to be uh, the same price as a monthly payment on a car. And so that's a brand new choice that Toyota people, Corolla for that. That's right. So they want to brainwash them, and celebrities are helping. We have uh, Nina Dubrev, the Vampire Diaries actress. She posed topless on Instagram and then shot a tweet out, I'm Canadian. We have health care for all. Go and get covered, because without it, you're naked. And quickly, other celebrities were following, tweeting to get covered. Amy Poehler, Adam Scott, Emily Van Camp. I don't know who all these people are. Some of them uh, went to the White House and met with the president about this. Amy Poehler, Jennifer Hudson, Michael Sarah, Cal Penn. They're in the tank, and, they, and they're in love. I mean, this is the marketing, this is the outreach that they're choosing to do. But the question is, are, is a celebrity-focused campaign going to be enough to get young people to spend $200, $275 a month on health insurance when the alternative is to simply pay a penalty of about $95 next year? That's the question. And this, this is the administration's question is, can we make this work? You know, they actually ran a focus group, and they were unable to find uh, that a majority of young people would sign up at the $200 price point, which is what they were asking people about. The Baltimore Ravens got $130,000 to help promote Maryland State Exchange. Shows you the kind of budgets here. I mean, that's nothing. Uh, California actually has an $80 million marketing budget just for marketing Obamacare oh, in California. The taxpayer should scream. Thank you, Peter Suderman of the wonderful Reason Magazine. Coming up, I'm critical of Obamacare, the government-dominated system that preceded it, so... Does any country have a better system? Well, yes, says my next guest. There is one. That's next.